Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tackle another question I get all the time on the channel, and that is, how do I update the apps within my Fire TV Stick? Now, I recently did this video, and that's how to update your Fire TV Stick. Well, updating your apps is a slightly different process. I'm gonna show you in today's video how to automate the process so it does it for you right now in today's video. Let's get on the TV. All right, guys, I have you on the home screen on the Fire TV Stick. In order to get the update for the apps, you will need to update the Fire TV Stick itself. So you're going to go to Settings, which is the gear on the right-hand column. Then you're going to go down to My Fire TV, About, down to Install Update. If there is an update, and it will actually tell you if there's an option. It'll say Checking for Update, Install Update, or Fire Stick is updated. So on the right-hand side, you'll see there is an update available for my Fire TV Stick. It will take a few minutes to do that, and it will do a device reboot. So I'm not going to do that on this video, but you will want to do that in order to get the latest. But I'm going to show you how to automate the process to update your apps on your Fire TV Stick. So you're going to do that in the application section right here. So let's open that up, and you're going to go down to App Store. Now this App Store actually has quite a bit to it that a lot of people don't know about where you can turn on and off your automatic updates. I have mine set to on. I do believe out of the box it is set to off. So you're gonna want your automatic updates to be on to automate the process. Now you can also see other things like in-app purchases. I can turn this off if this is in a guest room um, in our house or if we're having a lot of kids over, you can turn that off so they don't buy something. Uh, you can manage your subscriptions here as well, which is great. So if you do have subscriptions that you wanna turn on or off, you pay for specific apps, you could do that right here. There is a simple sign-in option, which is great if you're the only one using your Fire Stick, you might as well do that. And then you can turn on and off notifications. I like to turn mine off on my Fire Sticks because that's those pop-ups in the bottom right-hand corner. A lot of times for apps you don't even use, they'll do pop-ups constantly, and that just annoys the heck out of me. But this is where you do it right here, automatic updates. And there are circumstances where you would not want to automate your updates, and that's only if you're using certain third-party apps. But any app that you get through the Amazon App Store, you'll definitely want to do automatic updates. And this is where you automate that process. You guys, that was pretty easy, right? I mean, it's not a huge task to do that. Well, I did that video on how to update your Fire TV stick, and then all these pop-ups were popping up on people's screens to update your apps. So that's why I'm doing this video. I know it's a beginner's video, but there's a lot of beginner users for Fire TV devices, and so I have to do these beginner's videos once in a while. Now, if you've been using the Fire Stick for a while and you already know stuff like this, I do have more advanced videos, so make sure you check those videos out on our channel as well. I did want to touch on really quickly before I let you go that this update Update, this automation update works with all Fire TV devices. So whether you have the TV edition, the Cube, the Fire Stick, even older generations, you can do the automation. They did make that available across their platforms. Now the Fire TV Stick is an awesome device. It's one that I've used for a long time. I use Android boxes for the majority of my streaming, but I do use Fire Sticks when I travel and in all of our guest rooms. And so they're really cool devices. Make sure you play around with that app store uh, settings because you can turn off crazy notifications. You can turn off in-app purchases. There's a lot you can do in that app store setting in your applications. It's really important that you get familiar with that, especially if you're gonna have guests over or you've got kids in your home and you don't want them to purchase something, you can turn all that off. You can turn off notifications, all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for supporting the channel. Bye.